Hello viewer, my name is Masha Abila from Loreto Convent Valley Road. Welcome to the Science Hub. And I'm Gloria Kaleha from the same school. Today we're going to learn about volumetric analysis, also known as titration. The first titration we're going to do is an acid-based titration where neutralization is going to take place. As you remember from the Form 2 syllabus, neutralization occurs when an acid and a base react to produce, a salt, to produce salt and water. Today we are going to do a practical. We, ha we, are, ha we, ha we are provided with the following. We have 0 0.2 molar HCl, sodium hydroxide, phenolphthalein indicator, and the titration apparatus. You are required to determine the concentration of sodium hydroxide in moles per liter. And then we have the procedure. Fill the burette up to the zero mark with HCl, with HCl. So we are going to do that first. Fill the beaker up to the zero mark. Burette with HCl. The next step is to use a pipette to transfer 25 cubic centimeters of the sodium hydroxide into the conical flask. So what Masha is doing, she's just, is she's just sucking the air out of the apparatus so that the liquid can flow into the pipette. So we are going to transfer it to the conical flask. Add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator to the sodium hydroxide. can see the color change. Run the acid from the burette into the sodium hydroxide a little amount at a time while
while studying the contents until there's a color change noted in the contents. So I'm going to do that. all noted the color change then we shall note the reading of the burette which is 25.5 centimeters cube of the acid and then stop pouring the acid we did that and then we are going to record the readings in the table. she's writing I'll prepare the second titration first we have to top up again the burette up to the zero mark so that you can do the second titration our reading was 25.5 yeah we started at zero So we will top up again to zero for the second titration. And we're going to repeat the procedure again two more times.
so this is 25 cubic centimeters we're going to put it into the conical flask <coughs> and add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator You can see the color change. Oh, where's the white type? Use the white type to take the things and it is 27.5 and we started at zero so the difference is the volume of the acid used 28.5 cubic centimeters we're going to do it one more time as well begin from where it is so that we can as well begin from there Masha we do that like that So this time our initial reading will be 28.5. So that is 25 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide.
then we shall add two drops of the indicator so the reading is 50 and you can see there was color change from pink to colorless and to get the volume of the acid we are going to Take 50 or 28.5 from 50 cubic centimeters. Twenty-one 21.5. From there, there are questions relating to the practical that we shall do. question is calculate the average tighter volume of the acid used so we're going to take the average of the three readings so 25.5 Masha mm -hmm. okay. Seventy five point five divided by three. Twenty five point two. That is the answer to the answer. The first question is usually filling in the table and then I'm calculating the average volume. The second question of okay, the third question is calculate the number of moles of the acid used. The equation of the practical is going to be the acid, sorry, the base, which is sodium hydroxide, plus the acid, which is hydrochloric acid, to give us sodium chloride plus H2O. And the state symbols liquid so in the pipette we had 25 cubic centimeters of the base and in the burette we had the tighter volume of the acid which is 25.2 cubic centimeters so the moles of the acid used were given the molarity of the acid as 0 0.2 molar. So it's a 0 0.2 molar is in a thousand cubic centimeters. What about 25.2, which is the tighter volume? 25.2 cubic centimeters. So it will be 0 0.2 times 25. Point two over a thousand, which gives us zero point zero zero five, zero point zero zero five moles. So these are moles of the acid used. third question, the fourth sorry, which is to write balanced chemical equations for the reaction taking place. I wrote it over here. Then, determining the mole ratio between the acid and the sodium hydroxide. So, from here, from the equation, we see that we have sodium hydroxide plus HCl. And here, it's only one 
composer here it's only one because if it was any other number the number would be indicated just before the first letter of the formula so the mole ratio is one is to one the question is determine the number of moles in 25 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide we know the mole ratio is one is to one therefore the number of moles in 25 cubic centimeters will be equal to the number of moles of the acid because the mole ratio is 1 is to 1 so that is 0 0.005 moles and the last question is to determine the concentration of sodium hydroxide in moles per liter So we shall take the number of moles in 25 cubic centimeters, which is 0 0.005 moles is in 25 cubic centimeters. We shall ask ourselves what about a thousand cubic centimeters so that we can get the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. 0 0.0 Zero five times a thousand divided by twenty five zero point two moles per liter. So this means in every liter there is zero point two, there are zero point two moles. So this concludes this episode of Science Hub where we have learned how to do acid-based titrations. See you next time and thank you for watching.